how you get crystals everywhere. All the materials you will use in your daily life that have some kind of function, the chances are that they have crystals in them. So for example, your computers are full of crystals, but also things like the drugs that you would take, like paracetamol or ibuprofen, those are also crystals. They have all sorts of different kinds of structures, but in essence, they are all similar to one another. You have things which are natural, so you have things such as diamonds, which are natural, but other things which are natural would be things like shells that you'd find on a beach. But we make them in the laboratory and we make all sorts of different kinds of crystals. Some are very simple, but then we make other complicated crystals like the one you can see next to me here, which is a complicated zeolite crystal, which is a catalyst. We've developed some software for actually simulating how crystals grow. Over the years, we've been using a special microscopy method where we've been looking at crystals growing at the atomic scale. And now we've been developing software which can actually simulate how the crystals are growing at the atomic scale with the hope that by understanding how the crystals grow, the people can actually control in the laboratory exactly what they're going to get. There are millions of different kinds of crystals and the, the thing about our software is you can pretty much plug in any crystal that you might be interested in, whether that's a pharmaceutical crystal, whether that's a, a catalyst, whatever, whether it's a natural crystal. And you can see how that crystal grows um, atom by atom and therefore understand how the crystal is growing. The benefits for the users of Crystal Grower are quite diverse. These could be from an educational tool, so people just understand better how crystals grow right through to a commercial sense where companies can design more efficient processes to make a more cost-effective business for themselves. In order to develop Crystal Grow, we've had to pull in expertise from experimentalists who are growing crystals, to theoreticians who can do the simulations, even to mathematicians to understand some of the complexities of these structures. And by putting all that together, these, these, these are people not only from the University of Manchester, but also in Australia, in Russia and in Italy, we can solve these really complicated problems.